Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we'll be talking about the gas home management systems, which is known as the uh, GRMS system. It's uh, basically uh, a system that put in a place in all the hospitalities in order to control the uh, function within the uh, hotel room so that the guests they might have you know a better uh, experience and easy of the comfort and for the energy purpose as well uh, so basically i explained earlier uh, grms is a system that designed for the you know hotel room to make it more efficient uh, control various aspects of the of the room such as lighting ventilations curtains music system and the uh, audiovisual system uh, uh, let's say that for example now we have uh, a typical uh, layout design for the hotel where you can see here that we have the, uh, uh, the bedroom and we have a small living area we have the toilet and then dining plus uh, an open kitchen together this could be one of the layout or it could be a different layout where you might find that in a hotel they have a different typology some of the room will be only a bedroom with the with the wash area there is no any kitchen on it uh, it could be a double bedroom with the living with the, uh, along with the kitchen it could be a hotel apartment it could be just a, a normal hotel room so the uh, typology is, is it could be could vary from <coughs> from hotel to hotel um, so let's say that if we want to design for example for our uh, uh, let's say that the, the, the hotel room we need to always put the areas as I explained earlier in my other videos in designing the, 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 the lighting control system so basically here what we need to do is always specify where the, the areas are like for example you put a column here you put the areas in trans bedroom dining living maybe the toilet area then you keep all your functionality uh, on, on the top so that in this row you'll have the functionalities and then you decide you know for the entrance for example do you want to keep any uh, on off light uh, in my case i don't want to put any on off light uh, dimming light definitely i'll consider it uh, one uh, dimming light uh, circuit there in the entrance uh, and in most of the hotel based on my experience i've seen that the dimming systems that they use are you know the, the zero to ten volt uh, dimming light type uh, you can keep a motion sensor as the entrance just for the uh, you know when, when the guests walk in automatically the welcome light in the entrance will, will come on and then you can use the car holder at the at the door to to enable the other functionalities depend on your on your design at the end uh I kept also you know like uh, the, the for sure we need the outdoor panel where you see that in all the hotels beautiful panel will be on the, on the door will will be written on it the uh, hotel room number uh, and you can use you know the the access card or let's see that nowadays people they have a new technologies where you can use your own phone to access the uh, uh, the hotel room and then at the entrance uh, also you'll keep the car holder for the energy saving maybe you might consider to keep one uh, room controller uh, maybe one button switch this overwriting any any function that you want to keep for the lighting on off or for any any other purpose or it could be a master touch button that to 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 switch off everything inside the hotel room uh, at the bed, bedroom, we'll put uh, two on off lights. Maybe we might use two abajoros to, to turn on the abajoros that to turn on the left and right for reading. We might have uh, two circuit uh, dim lights. It could be one of them, the, the light that will be above the ceiling. The other light, we might, if you want to think about it, to give it like a directive light at night only to be used to show the way all the way to, to dining or all the way to the kitchen or all the way to the toilet um, you know it, it at the end depend on your, your your design and creativity you have one present sensor you can keep it this one for the uh, HVAC system in order to control the, 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 the energy and uh, two switches at the bedside so left and right so that you can have the you know easy control of the uh, different scenarios you might make a, 
a night mood, maybe a reading mood, maybe party mood, I don't know, maybe a morning mood. It depends on how many mood you want to keep. And a room controller with the thermostat, uh, definitely they use in most of the hotels. If you use that with the 0 to 10 volt, uh, in most of the case, you'll find that both of the, 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 the compressor and the, and, and the cooling coil are controlled by 0 to 10 volt. Unlike the other, you know, uh, FCU types that use in, in, in residential uh, villas, you have to consider maybe some cartons. I've considered here two speakers and then amplifier with the AV controller. And at the end, the beautiful thing is when you do this design, you will come up with a POQ that you have how many relays uh, per this room, how many on-off relays, how many dimming channels you have, how many motion sensors you have, how many presence sensors the car holders and the outdoor indoor panel, uh, how many switch near the bedside, how many of the room controller we need, and thermostat definitely with the FC controllers, the curtains points, the speakers, and then how many amplifier you might have, and you need only one maybe an AV uh, controller. So basically here you can select how many channel of the, of the, of the modules for the back end devices, then you have your front end devices. After you done this uh, design, it will be like, for example, if this is a room type A, so if let's say I have 20 of this room in this uh, project, uh, all of them will have the same BOQ, the same designs. You have already considered this, just whatever this equipment you have here, you might just multiply by the quantity of the room that you have. So you, you are done with the, with the design of the room type uh, A. Then after that one, you can move on to the panel layout. This is just I'm explaining a bit, you know, uh, very fast, where you will put, you know, all your uh, uh, connections into. The, you have to be a little bit professional. So you keep all the loads connected here through the connectors, and then you might take the internal cables connected to the relays, connected to the actuators, connected to the FCU controller. And then you might have, have to develop another uh, panel wiring where you have all the KNX cables go through each and every items and it goes to the uh, building. Hello, this is the room controllers, you have the bedside switches, maybe the, the room controller at the entrance, maybe this is the FCU or this is I'm sorry, the, the thermostat and this is the FCU panel that nearby the uh, uh, um, nearby the, the, the FCU indoor unit uh, and this could be the it could be the car holder so basically just a general uh, overview of how you can arrange your nice uh, wiring for this room so it, you don't need to do a lot of work one times professionally done finish uh, essential items that always you have to put in your mind for the uh, for the uh, GRMS systems is the power supply is a must. You have to put a line coupler. Then you have to consider an IPRS uh, because later on you will have to link maybe the IPRS to the uh, uh, to the hotel management system. So hotel, uh, where you have a software that centralizes at the reception area so that people they can you know the, the operators they can use it. In some of the design, you might see that a line coupler is kept in every uh, hotel room. Then they might combine uh, certain uh, rooms together with only one IPRS and IP gateway. Depend at the end on, 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 on how, how big the project is and how much you want to achieve in terms of the energy values, how you want to make your, your design more of, you know, uh, cost effective. Uh, and also don't forget uh, some part that you need to always consider is that the interface with the uh, door access panel that where you have to put uh, consideration for it. You might need to consider some software interface for the BMS uh, system interface that where you will give them all the points of the room occupancies so that they can uh, optimize the, uh, the, the chill water system of the, uh, of the hotel. And also we need to interface with the hotel management system for the reservation so that they know that, you know, uh, if, if, if the room is occupied, not occupied, uh, they link it with, you know, 
the, the door access panel with the system so that when he enables the, 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 the access door to the guest, the moment that he walking into the room, the, you know, the system will start reacting with the, with the, uh, the, with the card and the validity of the card. Well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I really appreciate, you know, uh, uh, being with you guys in this channel. Uh, again, you know, share with me your thoughts. If you have any further questions or you want more details about the GRM system, please drop for me a line and I'll definitely get back to you. Stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye.